Eric, 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 every Eric, single proof text you fast. threw out, you don't know the context. You don't right. know what uh, you're you, you don't know what future is. So you Eric, don't Eric, literally. Eric, Eric, hold on, hold on, yeah. Chris. Uh, make sure, Eric, that you, you're keeping it respectful. Chris is definitely my uh, guest. Well, no, this guy wants to act this. Well, hold on. I, well, well, hold on. But listen, Chris. I mean, listen, Eric, listen. Now, you're bringing out these texts. To be honest, I want to look at these texts. And I want the audience to see these texts. So let's deal with the texts you're just bringing out. You brought out Isaiah 49 and 6. You says he declared. So, uh, Chris, if you can, can you go through some of those texts that he's bringing out? Who and does God declare to? to? And when does God <laughs> declare it? Uh, I let's, let's just say, God if you're declares, quote a hold passage, on, he declares the end from beginning. Yeah, what's okay? the beginning? What's he referring to? Uh, the beginning of the creation Wrong. to the end. Is Wrong. The, okay, so so just throw out all the prophecies, the end times. Throw let's, let's, let's go to oh, the Jesus biblical text. Jesus might not then. come back because there's no... You see how insane okay, uh, you are? You're really getting, what kind really of, getting really emotional. Where, yeah, because the there's where? no why I love my God, bro. And this is just this is why it's Harris. This you is why don't know every the, Christian, you don't know the context of your uh, teaching out there. You Isaiah, don't know anything about systematic Isaiah theology. tells us when the beginning is. It's not the beginning of time. The, Isaiah tells us. What, what there's it, over, there's on, over on, four thousand texts that hold talk on. about a future. Hey, hold on, you, Eric, you don't Eric, know your Eric, where is the text at? Where's the text at uh, uh, in Isaiah? Let's grab the text because this brother he's steady saying. Yeah, Isaiah, this and that. Well, well, let's Chicago, go I know you're in the middle of a do you deny, Do you deny a future? I mean, I just stated my position, but I mean, just I, it's say not how really. You, truly feel. Don't really, lie to, you can't really, lie. No, you no, I'm saying I'm not lying. I, I, I believe I believe that there is certain there uh, there is a, a future. You know what I'm saying? Thank and, you, bro. But it's partially open though. So this well, what I'm least, saying. At least you're against. But, that but it's not about text. me. It's That's about this. Text. You're insane. Well, it's That's not terrible. about me. It's not about me. It's about this text. What is this text saying in Isaiah 49 and six? What is it saying? We're, we're, really saying God declared the end from the beginning. Okay, well, okay. let's look at it. Can, go can ahead, I, go ahead. Feel free to he, read the whole thing. And it's yeah. going to still say God, Yahweh, clears the end from the beginning. I'm going to give me two minutes. We'll, we'll talk about Isaiah, Deuteronomy, <laughs> Isaiah. Right. Philosophy. So let's just get one into verse this text. Time. One let's get into this time. text because that's the importance right there. Go ahead, uh, uh, Chris. So it, it's very clear that all these proof texts you're coming to us with, you don't know the context. I, I literally asked you about a narrative. What's happening in the narrative? You had no clue. And so what that should tell the audience is none of your proof texts mean what you claim. You have not showed us one single proof text that means what you claim. We'll turn to Isaiah. When does Isaiah say the beginning is? How about how about let's listen to Isaiah? Fear not, nor be afraid. I have not told you from old and declared. Have I not told you from old and declared it? So God tells people. So the people exist, at least when God's declaring it. Are you not my witness? They're his witness. God's declaring to people. Is there a God besides me? There's no rock. I know not any. 45, 19. I did not speak in secret. There's no secret declarations. He tells people. And why does he tell people? As Isaiah reads over and over again, he tells them so that they know when it comes about that it's God who does it. Because God doesn't do everything. And God doesn't declare in secret. God wants people to know the things that he's going to do before he does them so that they have some sort of tangible evidence that he's the one doing it. 48.3. The former things I declared of old, they went forth from my mouth. I announced them and suddenly I didn't know them. They came to pass because I know you are an obstinate and your neck is iron sinew and your forehead brass. I declared them to you from old. People are existing during these declarations. This is what it means. When God decides to do something, he tells people yeah, right. about it so okay. that when it comes about, they'll know that he's the one who's doing it. Keep going. And well, yeah. don't defeat the purpose. But, that he, but he still the declared it, and it still came to pass. Yeah. God could do things. I could do he things. Has the, he has the power he to bring it what, to pass. In, in the future. Yeah. In the future, right? How can he do that? It's about his power. How, how do I he, do How it? he brings it to pass. I'm what I'm saying. I'm saying. The end okay. the beginning can, of this can we, can we establish one thing real quick? Uh, Isaiah 40, 21. Do you not know? Do you not hear? It, has what? it not been told from you to you from the beginning? When's the beginning? It's not a eternal on, decree. On. What chapter are you in? Uh, that's 4021. I read right, about now, what chapter? G -Con. Isaiah 4021. But I've read to you about five passages that explicitly d d tell us when God declares things and to whom. So well, can that we... doesn't listen, that doesn't mean that each time, and I'm not saying that you're wrong yet, 
But that doesn't mean that each time has the same exact context. So we got to read all of them yeah. to, in order to I, determine. I've read it right. multiple times. You, you, you well, do a systematic that, theology listen, now. I'm the only one who's read the passage here. I, I, I'm telling you. are the you. only one who read the passage. Man, I've been in this 30 years, bro. Right, right. I'm right. not just I, I, reading this right. passage. Hold on. Elder, Elder, Elder Mike. No, yes, when you look at the narrative of it, yes, he's saying the same thing. What he's declared. And, he's, and see, if you know the, if you if you actually know the, the near, it's, it's a Near East. And it's also a Levant area to where he's contesting these false gods. Okay. And so go ahead, brother. Can I just okay. do the one point? The, uh, Mount Hernan. Our, our, our friend here, our Calvinist friend, said that the beginning was the beginning of time. Can we all agree that nothing in context has anything about the beginning of time? And every reference to the beginning is things in time to people who already exist. Can we all just agree on that one point? No. Okay. One point. No.